Hi, it is Marie. I'm back again today with another video. I am also back home and I have a little bit different of a setup than I had over the summer. Uh, but I have no desk, which is why I'm over here. Um, and so it's a little odd, but I'll make it work. Um, anyways, I wanted to talk today about uh, super palsy and the downside of accommodations. Now, I have to first make the distinction between what I see as being necessary and unnecessary accommodations. Necessary accommodations, in my view, are accommodations that make something possible uh, that wasn't possible if the accommodations weren't in place. So, for instance, if you can't speak, you should have an accommodation put in place that will help you communicate. That's just, that's just no-brainer in my view. However, too often in my life and often in the people I observe around me with disabilities, uh, there are often unnecess unnecessary accommodations put in place. These, in my view, are accommodations um, that people offer to alleviate the challenge. They may be good in the short term, right? They alleviate the challenge, but they have damaging effects medium to long term. Um, now, I go to college, as I said many times before, uh, without using accommodations, and often people are confused by this. They go, Marie, wait, you go to college without any accommodations? But you have cerebral palsy. Accommodations would make your life so much easier. And actually, this has been a, a common uh, notion throughout my life. <laughs> um, people have said this to me often. Uh, and they say it's as if I'm entitled to it because I have cerebral palsy. I'm entitled to accommodations. And this may be true from an equity point of view, right, to make it all fair and even. Um, but I, what I found is in the long and in the medium term, they don't make, <laughs> make my life any easier. They don't make it fair for me. Um, and they, they just make it so that I'm farther back than I could have um, without the accommodation. Um, so for instance, in elementary school and, and in middle school, I would have someone else write for me or I would have skeleton notes, right? Because the thought was, oh, Marie writes slow. Well, Marie has sloppy handwriting. If she's, go if she's going to get this information down, she's go going to do it in alternative ways and we're going to make those possible for her. And so it helped me in the short term. I got the information down. I, I could, could uh, attain that knowledge. However, as I, as I got older into my high school years, I realized that I didn't really know how to take notes. And, and secondly, I didn't know how to write really altogether. I had terrible handwriting. I couldn't, I, I didn't really know how to write a sentence. Um, and you know, and I finally learned in like seventh grade, I learned how to write a sentence uh, because my teacher was like, these are all fragments. And I'm like, well, no one had me write. They just did it all for me. Um, and, and, and so, of course, that's just one example. Um, but I find that there is a real downside. And um, I've always viewed it as, you know, I would rather like to do something that's challenging um, than win something or receive something um, because people just said, "Oh, you're gonna do it the easy way." Well, no, duh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that award. It was made easier for me. I would rather have it be, "Oh, you, you received that award. You received that honor. You received that grade because you put in the necessary work." that was required of you, if not more work. Um, I, I have a really uh, troubling time with, with feeling like I'm deserving of something um, when people make it easier for me than the rest of my peers. Um, sure, cerebral palsy might be a challenge. Sure, I have challenges put in place. Um, but but life, life is challenging, like I always said, you know? So please don't alleviate the challenge for me, um, because you want me to you want me to go through life being this fragile being without any any hurt and 
uh, any damages um, because that's just not practical. It, it really isn't. How am I supposed to get through the rest of my life if I'm not exposed to the challenges in the world? You know, I can't. <laughs> and I think too often people that put accommodations in place are only thinking of the short term. They're only saying, oh, she has to pass this class, or oh, he has to, you know, just do this and get by and, and do whatever. They're not thinking of medium to long term. What will this mean two years down the road? What will this mean five years down the road? What will this mean 15 years down the road? They never think about that, in my opinion. Um, they only just want to get by. You know, and uh, so that's all I got to say for today. I will uh, say goodbye and I will see you in the next video. It may be on, well, let's see, Wednesday. I might, Monday, I might post something. Wednesday, I might post something. I don't know. I've got a lot of time. It's break. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any other thing you want to share, go ahead and, and comment down in the comments section. Uh, if you have any suggestions, go ahead and comment as well. I would love to hear if you have any suggestions so I'm not stuck talking about accommodations. Uh, in every single video, which is what I feel like I'm doing. But anyways, I'm going to say goodbye, um, and I will stop this little whatever this is, rant, whatever. Um, so, 